Just rambling around Lincoln City, Oregon. We're gonna start our new year on the Oregon coast. Let's get rambling, ramblers. We're here at Starfish Manor. Do some hot tub. Adult only hotel. Well, good, because I don't want any children in the hot tub. Where's the restaurant? Hey there. It's a door. <laughs> this is a this is better than what I thought. For some reason I was thinking of a, a, a different place. We got a king size bed. They give you robes here. And your hot tub is right up with the ocean view. And there you go. Here's your room, and there's the ocean view. Don't avoid going to Oregon coast during the uh, winter because you just never know what you're gonna get. This is why this is one of my favorite hotels to stay at on the Oregon coast in Lincoln City, Oregon. Basically just because it's quiet, a little bit more personal, it's not a huge place to stay at, and you've got your, you know, you can soak in the morning, soak in the evening, and you've got this big balcony to have drinks, have coffee in the morning. So you have to go for a walk a little bit down to one of the other buildings and then go down to the ocean. I can't believe it's winter. Can you believe it's winter? Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. That's really nice. So, Starfish Manor in Lincoln City. Music and they're making all this noise. Here is your flight car. Yeah. What did and you so, end up getting? So this reads from left to right. We got the corner of the brown, the Kolsch, and we got the rum and oak imperial stout, and then a lager, Bavarian lager. So what are you gonna start with? I'm gonna do this porter here. Right. Oh, that's good. That's real good. A little thinner than a, a regular porter, but it's good. I like it. This is the brown. Look at the color of that one. Look at the hot hops right on the front end. Hops in the back end. So if anyone loves hops and a brown, this is it right here. Boom. So I'm gonna start with the Kolsch. It's a good solid Kolsch. I should I should have started with the Kolsch. Really? Uh, yeah, because of the stouts. Oh, the sun is hitting you just right. <laughs> uh, that's not pretty. Just staring in the sun like I'm an idiot. I can't even see now. Just staring in the sun like yeah, a blind fool. I don't like it. <laughs> the cold shoe is good. It makes your head look better. Is it all the way on? Oh, my brains. Brains in a big hat. This is their their lager is a Bavarian Hell's Lager. It's a Bavarian Hell's Lager. Every year we usually go to Costco and get the. Um, advent calendar for the beers and this tastes just like many of those ones because yeah, it's a German house, yeah. yeah I missed doing it this year but I had to behave after Oktoberfest <laughs> that was mm -hmm. lager, that's for sure oh that was good yeah. nice and crisp mm -hmm. well yeah, done pretty yeah I just wasn't ready for that oh I am look at that, that look at that it looks like a syrup it's get some pancakes mm -hmm. oh wow good yeah yeah even a taster this big is probably too much. Yeah, I'm gonna try I mean, it's like last. eating a pan of brownies and you can only have one brownie. And this is actually about five or six brownies. <laughs> and they're celebrating their four year anniversary Which today. So we showed up on their four yeah. year anniversary. And to make it through uh, make it through the COVID too yeah. is impressive. That means Congratulations they opened up in 2018 and then a year later, you know, we had the yeah. pandemic. So yeah. Good. yeah, cheers to them. So we're at Moe's. There's several Moe's locations along the Oregon coast. When we were in Seaside, we ended up not going to Moe's. A lot of people like Moe's clams chowder. Let but, you know. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll yeah. see. Oh. 
That's good flavor. Good flavor? Good flavor. It has bacon in there. You do a good job with it. It's thick. It's fresh baked bread. Oh, yeah. This is Very actually, thick. yeah. This is real good. Um, I was happily surprised. So we have some favorite clam chowder um, at a couple places throughout, throughout the Oregon coast. We haven't had Moe's in a long time, and I forgot. It, it's really good. You like bacon with your clam chowder and your potatoes. It's thick, um, creamy, very good clam chowder. You gotta go to Moe's. Yep. in at the glass, uh, glass gallery. Um, there's classes to learn how to uh, make your own. You can do a vase, you can do, but these little round glass floats, there's seven miles of beach where they drop these off at various dates and they'll tell you how many they're dropping. Sometimes it's holidays, sometimes it's just random dates. You can go online and look. These glass floats are dropped throughout the beaches of Lincoln City. So they did that to our special sauce. And then this is your burner. We need to, we need to take this thing out. I'll put it back in. Yeah. Two patties, two, patties. two okay. slices of cheese. Okay. And this is this is good enough for uh, the two people beans that we just had. An appetizer so, of lamb chowder, fresh onion, right. sauce. Very good. Very good. Very good. Needs a napkin. Drive-in burger. We got some fries, and then he said because I'm the boss, it has my name on it. Yep, you're the boss. There it is. And then there's outside seating during the day. So what did you think? That was good. It was good for a little driving bird. Oh, how cute! They took two tires and made a little. I thought that yeah, was, was fresh. Yeah. And those french fries tasted pretty fresh as well. Yeah. It was a nice little burger doing. Yeah, much rather. Oh, they have all these outside of them too. They're getting old. Yeah. I think. Oh, no. It's like a little toolbox. Oh, cool. A little rusty crock for you. You got the beers on the other side, one side of the other. This is a strawberry summer. This is a strawberry summer. I moved over here so you could get me. <laughs> that is good. Coffee porter. Taft coffee porter. Yeah. Here I go. That's good. That is delicious. <laughs> you can taste, hold on, hold on. Yeah. yeah, you can taste the toffee. Yeah, it's delicious. I mean, it's like a caramel note or something to it. Okay, do me now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh man, yeah. They, yeah, they piled up the toffee. That's good. Cherry. So here's this is the cherry chocolate, chocolatey Baltic. Baltic porter. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good porter. It's great thing. It's, it's not. Is it rich? It's not. Oh. It's it's no. It's real thin. Mm. It looks thick, but it's uh, it's definite porter and it's it's definite Baltic porter. Mm. It is called the hazelnut cracker. Hazelnut cracker porter. 
Oh my gosh. How do you like that compared to the Rogue? This is that? really good. This is really nutty. Yeah. It's thick. This is delicious. We probably will end up leaving here with a growler of some kind of dark porter to have in the hot tub. <laughs> This one's the best one out of the whole bunch. We didn't even use another. Can you bring me a beer? And I forgot what it was. Oh no. What is it? Oh, you won't like this one. I'll just drink it all. <laughs> that means, sounds like it's good. It is. It is good. It reminds me of the McMenamin's uh, Purple Haze to touch off here. That is really good. Really light. It's good. Yeah. Very it good. Is. Yep, we're just leaving the rusty truck and it's the rusty truck brew pub and tasting room and uh, Too bad we weren't here during the day to show up, but stop in here a lot of beers to choose from a variety of beers to choose from and the pizza We've eaten here before pizza's really good burgers are good seafood um. All right, see nothing? So here we are in our last couple hours of 2022 go back and watch us at Smith Rock. That's one of my favorites of 2022. It was a hike that I couldn't do the year before. I don't like heights, but I did it as part of myself. And I love that campground, Crooked River Ranch. So Smith Rock, Crooked River Ranch, that's one of my highlights of 2022. And then of course, Hawaii. Uh, Hawaii we did in 2022, and you're gonna see end of January, in February, Hawaii. Those are our favorite things of 2022. And uh, we'll have some coffee out by the patio tomorrow and talk about 2023. But for now, we're ending in a hot tub, relaxing at adult-only hotel that we enjoy in Lincoln City. Yeah, looking back at 2022, the favorites of mine, yeah, definitely Crooked River Ranch was probably one of the tops with Madras as far as Mecca Great Estate Mall. That was a blast. The video for Mecca Great Estate Mall for the Harvest Host does not show how much fun we had. It was just probably just a brief little glimpse of what we did. We had a tremendous time there. It was, it was a blast. Bull Central Oregon is, is real fun. Hiking, the beer scene, lots of good times. So here out. it is, 2022. It's a wrap. Happy New Year. Happy New Year! Oh, there you go. There's your coffee. Thank you. Happy New Year. Mm -hmm. New Year started right at the beach. Cup of coffee. It's nice just to be able to sit here and chill out. And so it looks like there's people down here getting ready to do the polar plunge. A lot of people do that this time of the year. So yes, yeah. they're gonna run into the water here real quick. And... Well, there's a few that left. There was one guy that walked out and he just turned around. Are they getting their clothes ready so when they jump out? Nope, they're getting dressed. Yeah, there's those. Uh, Beautiful morning. Honestly, yeah. This is crazy. Yeah. January on the Oregon coast. Yeah, look at that. Here's next. So our room is right. Right up there. Oh. One of them. It's in the second batch of people over here. Yeah, two. All right, baby. So it's a new year. So what do we got going on next year? This year, right now? 2023. I'm not positive. Things could always change. I think we're going to head up to Alaska. We've never been to Alaska, so we're going to go explore Alaska. We're going to do a ton of camping, some more hiking. We're going to show you our RV this year. We've had a few people comment and ask us about our RV, and we haven't really given a tour of it. We're going to go to Roadmaster. We love Roadmaster. That's who put together our, our Nighthawk setup to tow our Jeep and show you some of that because we're going to have some more safety stuff. Things put on, some things done. But be looking forward to the beginning of the year. We're going to show you some things we still didn't get to show you that we did in 2022, like Hawaii. We snorkeled with manta rays, and we snorkeled and swam with dolphins. We went hiking around the volcanoes, the ones that are now currently, uh, woo! <laughs> <laughs> currently, uh, the volcanoes have been erupting, and we actually went and hung out there. Uh, Mount St. Helens is coming up in the next few weeks. 2023, we got a lot going on, and we're hoping to get in better shape. We used to be marathon runners, and we used to enjoy doing a lot of running events. We even flew to the rock and roll runs, like went to Seattle, went to Vegas. COVID happened. Like many people, we kind of got lazy, and we quit running, and so we want to get back into that again and get some more exercise. So we'll see what happens. You know, you always make all these big goals. <laughs> we'll see. What are your goals for 2023, and what is happening? Well, everything you said is, uh... It's a great idea. We need to dig a hole for all those calories to fit into. 
rather than put those calories layer them upon layer I think we're gonna dig a hole and then the calories are gonna fall right into it rather than get bigger and bigger for the uh, for the year we got uh, running events every month we can go to every week of the month if we needed to and uh, I think that would be a good idea I think that should be the goal is just be a little more accountable to uh, to ourselves and I know done. there's gonna be more breweries opening up there's always a brewery <laughs> opening up every year we got to dig a hole so all those beer calories can fall right into it Absolutely. rather than make a mountain of calories we're gonna we're gonna make a valley Here's to all the goals in 2023, and hopefully everybody else has them. Share your goals, share what you wanna do, and let us know. That was Chinook Wins Casino. Came here last night for New Year's, for a little while. Actually, it was very busy. Whole theme of this, this uh, trip is just to chill out and relax at the Oregon coast. The Chinook Wins Casino is one of the top things to go visit at when you're in Lincoln City. We have some concerts here, shows here, comedians here. Now we're gonna show you real quick where you can stay um, if you have an RV. Yeah, this is RV parking right up here and we'll head over to the RV park. checking into if you're gonna come out here to Lincoln City stay out here for the New yeah. Year's see everyone's leaving they lost uh, they lost their fortunes and, or didn't win any fortunes or maybe they won fortunes and now they're gonna trade their trailers in for a uh, a mansion oh and look at this when you come up from the RV parking it's walking distance here safely right here. Now we're going to head to the McMinimums in Lincoln City. The Lighthouse Pub. Yeah, Lighthouse Pub. And it's one of, I believe, two McMinimums on the coast. The other one that I know of is... Gearheart. The Gearheart. And that's an actual hotel. You can stay there overnight. I don't think we haven't stayed at that one, but uh, I'm sure that's going to be uh, on our list here for the coast as well. That's in uh, Gearheart, Oregon. Looks a little busy. It is a busy place. Well, we'll, we'll see. see. There's a little hops in there, but not a lot. That's a good one here. I think I just, I think I just lost my beer. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I go, I want something light. I just want a light wheat. And then I take a sip of this. Holy yeah, cow, I this tried not is to over, over amazing. It. This is good. I guess I lost it. Wheat for me.
found the Hefeweizen here. Zoilos, uh, Weiss beer. Zoilos, yeah. from Portland, Oregon. <laughs> yeah, an American made. It's not an American Hefeweizen, it's a Bavarian German. Hefeweizen. Yeah, it has the Vajon uh, Stefan yeast strain. So you got that nice banana clove, and that taste, real good. No oh, broccoli cheddar. Broccoli cheddar soup? Yeah, it chose. is. Definitely homemade. I could smell the broccoli. Go pricing the soup. This is the Jaeger spatzel. So this is a pork cutlet, or crack, yeah, the Jaeger schnitzel. And he recommended it because it was well seasoned. Tender, good, oh my lord. Okay, yeah, real good. That's a good pig. Spatzel here. The spatzel, yeah, it's, a, it's like a pasta. Cheese, it's like a German macaroni and cheese. Good flavor, herb. find some good coffee before we leave. Check the hours at this place. Very limited on hours. And luckily, we can get it before we leave town. Good morning, happy new year. Hello. Yes, yes, absolutely. We're searching for coffee. coffee? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> we, we braved we the find? mountains of Lincoln City to come yeah. here. <laughs> we took a wrong turn and ended up in the woods. It smells great. <laughs> Mine is a hybrid, so I can control the air and the drum temperature. Mm -hmm. So I do different things during the roasting process for um, bringing the beans up to temp. You know, uh, you know, if it's at a slow rate, I ramp it. So there's certain things you have to do during the roast to either add more energy or take energy away so that the beans, because otherwise you're counter, um, you know, productive on that. Right, so it's almost like you're expecting the momentum to carry it. Yeah, you And do. then so you just you let all go the of the throttle and let it coast. Mm -hmm. I don't pre-mix my roast. I roast them all individually. I'll roast my Colombian separately, my Brazil, you know, my Ethiopian. During the summer, my roast will go faster. And during the winter, during a rainy day, it might go slower because there's sure. more moisture. You have a lot of competition, um, yeah. Windy conditions because it drafts out of the roast. So there's a lot of things I have to take into consideration when I'm roasting. I look for things in my in my coffees so that I can sell them both as single origin and okay. they make good blenders. A blonde roast I don't like because you haven't gotten the characteristics developed yet. This is a pea berry. Do you guys know oh, the pea yeah. berries? Yeah. Where there's only one bean in yeah, the, right. in the um, cherry. The Tanzania pea berry. Oh wow. Yeah, that was pretty impressive. That I didn't was even so know much fun. That's one's a really little existed. fruitier. The, I don't decaffeinate it. That's a whole another facility. Mm -hmm. But it's a it's a blend. It's an espresso blend, but it makes an excellent drip and an excellent espresso. It's the wow. only decaf I carry. Mm. Yeah. Oh, wow. So Colombian. That compared to the Sumatra, which is just funky. So and oh, oh, sorry, yeah. my lights are out. I'm just oh, trying no. it, so it be there. No. Ooh, yeah. You could see how different it is. Yeah. yeah. They're cute. They're smaller, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're so cute. They're like kitten shell. Oh, yeah. Oh. 
Is there any, can you repurpose that for anything? I'll use it for chilling into my garden. Excellent for composting. And then during the coffee process, there's something called tipping. So the gases inside the bean are really excited and that's what's increasing the, the bean twice the size is when it started. And sometimes little pieces pop off. Tipping happens, I mean, it's a natural part of the process. A roaster worth their salt, see that? This one right here. See that little piece right there? Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, it's pitted, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, okay. But if you see all of the beans look like that, they aren't roasting right. They're roasting too fast or uh -huh. putting too much energy into it because you want that bean to develop. You'll lose up to 20% of the original weight, but it'll increase twice, well, almost twice the size. Oh, look at that. I'll show you. Just put this on the table. These are the same coffee, so you can see. And the volume see. just together. And you've lost weight. Basically taking the water out, but the gases are increasing the size. They're pushing okay. the structure of it. Now you made mention of uh, and the They were interesting. I like, like for beers, I like sour beers. Uh, yeah. Three ounce. Yeah, right. That was pretty cool, huh? Yeah, that was cool. I enjoy uh, seeing where coffee is born. Elaine was a uh, uh, gracious host and showed us around, and that was fun. Elaine McCracken is the owner of Mother McCracken Coffee. We got really lucky. Uh, we got to spend quite a bit of time with her. I felt really guilty that we took up some of her time because she's a very busy person. We got more information than we deserve. It was such a good time. Up for um, some coffee we're gonna make when we get home and hopefully we'll give you an update. We'll have time to update and let you know, but I know it's gonna be good. Uh, you can tell that she knows what she's doing. She's been doing this for 19 years and she loves it and you can tell that she loves it. Picked up a long sleeve shirt, just beautiful artwork on the back of the shirt. World Addiction Coffee. Oh, and I'm really excited because we're gonna try a decaf. If you notice, it says it says Swiss water and that's the, the process in which the caffeine is, is leached out rather than chemicals introduced. Caffeinated coffee is really bad for you. This process here makes it better if not uh, a healthier. So we're visiting with her and we tell her of these other places we love to go. And if you go look at our other videos, you'll see we've been to Newport, Oregon. That was one of our very first videos. And we went to a place called Nana's Irish Pub. We like that place and we had their Irish coffees. And she said, that's her coffee. The Irish coffee is made with her coffee. Yeah. We got to talking and we also love like Newport Brewery. And then it turns out that she provided them the coffee for one of the beers that they created um, at Newport Brewing. So there's just so many other places uh, that she's provided coffee to that we, and we know we've had, we know we've had her coffee. I recommend anybody who has the time you're in town, hours are limited because you know how it is, you know, you're busy making the coffee, shipping it off, packaging it, and they're not always open. So make sure you check the hours on the website. We did a little email ahead of time to check on it, but she was just a wonderful host to us. It was a really nice visit. Thank you so much. Um, I recommend anybody who's in town to make sure that you go stop by Mother uh, Kraken Coffee. Also, when you go online, it's Kate Foulweather um, is how I found it. Kate Foulweather Coffee Company is how I found it um, online. Totally forgot that this place was Boozy Milkshakes. Since this is a traveling day, yeah, it's a traveling no, day, but I forgot we did no that. Booze. This smells awesome. Look this is awesome. Awesome. <laughs> molten. It's molten clam chowder. It does look more than all, doesn't it? I like this better than most. Wow. Period. Yeah. Yeah. Good. And then here we go with the fish. Mmm. Mmm. That looks good. Mm -hmm. So you got halibut fish and chips. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Lather it up. Put a little tartar sauce. Mm. Yeah. Well, how See the <laughs> excellent clam chowder. The clam chowder is probably the uh, it was better than uh, than most. Number one is Dugger's. Dugger's, yeah, is one of our favorites, but I'd have to go and put this next to it. Two different clam chowders. Dugger's has is more thin 
It's a thinner base, you know, still cream based, but it's thinner. And this one here, it's thicker. And the fish and chips were wonderful, the halibut. You know, you got big chunks of white meat. The halibut was great. And I forgot they have those boozy milkshakes. A lot of different beers on tap, a good variety. It's worth a stop, you know, we hit it out of town, you know, the last uh, meal of the, uh, of the visit. We had a great time here at Lincoln City, Oregon. We walked on the beach a lot. Yesterday was gorgeous. It was a beautiful day on the beach yesterday. And then today, there was a little bit more of a storm. So it was kind of a lot of big waves today. Yeah. yeah, there was a lot of big waves out there today. And it was, uh, it was, it was absolutely beautiful. We had great German food while we were here. That was a big surprise, some German beers. Had some Jaeger schnitzel and some spatzel and 